case. Now to Germany, where the public transport network has been paralysed in a strike over pay by two of the country's largest trade unions. Staff at airports, railways, ports and bus and metros are staging a 24-hour walkout. Unions want pay rises of more than 10% to help members cope with the rising cost of food and of energy. Our Berlin correspondent Jenny Hill spoke to Martin a little earlier and explained why today was quite unusual. It's really rare for a dispute over pay to escalate to this level of drama. Um, it's being called the mega strike here. Two powerful unions combining their, their firepower to get their workers out on strike and attempt to bring the country to a standstill. And it looks as though to a degree they are being successful. It's very difficult to get around Germany today. Planes, trains, ferries, all cancelled, depending on where you are in the country, bus and tram services out too. Um, I did see earlier on breakfast television here a very cheerful German taxi driver being interviewed saying it's a really good day to be a taxi driver and he's, he's probably right but actually even motorists are being warned that workers who normally maintain and repair roads and motorways for example um, immediately after an accident are also out on strike and that's before you consider the traffic jams with the extra volume of, of cars potentially on the road with commuters choosing to drive rather than try and get a train which has been cancelled. Um, so a lot of disruption. But, you know, we have seen here in recent weeks and months a good number of workers from a variety of sectors going out on strike, all of them saying they need their wages to reflect the higher cost of living, saying that they simply are struggling to pay their bills and their bills are going up. The two unions involved in today's um, industrial action are demanding, respectively, pay increases of 10.5 percent and 12 percent for their members. They are high demands. But, you know, actually, if you look back at the last few weeks and months, you can see that postal workers and metal workers who also um, went out on strike were able eventually to secure fairly substantial um, increases in wages um, as a result of, of the industrial action they took. So it'll be very interesting to see what, what comes out of today today's action.